So your chief complaint, the biggest thing that you're coming in for is neck and upper back. Yes. Can you point to where it, where you feel it? From here all the way down and yeah, some, and, and it, I don't know if it's length, but the pain, I have horrible. Does it go uh, into your fingers? E um, no, it stops about at my wrist. At but I don't wrist. know if that's connected to this because, but I think that it might be because I have such bad pain on this side and what, what I don't have the pain on this arm, you know? So Does it ever wanna... switch <clears throat> to the other side? No, only if I sleep on my neck wrong that night, I might have pain on this side, but it always goes away. This, I thought maybe that's how I did it because I'm a side sleeper, but I don't know for sure. So I how seen that long have you had it for? Um, three years, four years. Okay, is there anything that you notice that makes it better? Anything that you can do? I have this ball, this like, I don't know, it's for trigger points or mm -hmm, whatever. Mm -hmm. If I, if I, but I can't get into the neck really good with that, but some of the, I don't know, I noticed knots up here. I can get some of them that makes them feel better. Okay. Um, like stuff like that, I have something that I can rub on my neck. Um, I get it a lot when I use my cell phone. Okay. And, and I get the, the this pain after I lift, too, while I'm lifting, pulling. Okay. okay. So what it sounds like, I'm just gonna tell you what it sounds like to me. Um, it sounds like maybe you have a mild disc lesion in your lower neck. Okay. How old are you again? Thirty-seven. Thirty-seven. Okay. By the time somebody reaches fifty. Nearly everyone has a disc lesion. <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. so it's not just you, me, you. We all have it. That's just statistics. By the time somebody's 40, it's like 30%, and it jumps up to like 100% by the time they're 50. So, <laughs> when you put a load, now, there are things that you're saying to me that are good, and then there's things that you're saying to me that are not so good, and that you're gonna have to be like careful. Even when you say, when I look at my phone, and it gets worse when I bench. Anything that you do probably over 90 degrees, right? Anything over horizontal is going to do what? Raise the shoulder yeah. and then pinch it here. So what you'd say to me, oh, I go in and I relax it, I get some relief. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? This, there's a huge plexus of nerves that exits the neck here and it makes your arm move and it gives you the sensation goes back up to your brain, right? The signal comes down from the brain, wiggle your fingers, move your wrist. And then when I do this, there's afferent and efferent, okay? Okay, the efferent goes down, afferent goes back up, and it tells your brain, hey, I got an arm. When that signal gets pinched anywhere along the track, <laughs> from the brain all the way down to the hand, if it gets compromised, it starts giving you pain, the sensation of pain because there's no off switch. Mm -hmm. The off switch is then push, push, push. Anywhere along the track, you'll notice relief because it's telling your brain, hey, I got an arm. When the brain can't feel the arm, pain, okay? Like, it's kind of like phantom limb pain, but you, you still have your arm. So I'm gonna go in through the entire track. There's eight different places you can get crushed. Bodybuilders tend to have a few because they're constantly using everything out. It could be here. It could be here, it could be here. There's more, it could be here, it could be here. <laughs> now she's got this huge lump here. This is the only time I'm gonna ask you to look down because I can feel it. It's huge, all right here. Is that real tender when I push there? Yeah. Okay, how about up in here? Tender there too? Um, a little bit. But not as bad as down here? Yeah, not as bad. Okay. Tenderness? No. Anything when I press here go down your arm? No. Okay. Does that make it worse? Any achiness in that, there? That actually feels good. Okay. I always thought maybe that's a trigger point. This is your rib. First one. They're way up there. Right there. I don't know how we're going to show this one. She got several of them. It's just right here. Yeah, I, I, I feel a knot or something. Right there. Is that a knot? No, you feel it? No, that's your rib. Oh, that's a rib? 
Yes. That is what hurts. That's what I've been talking about. I, I thought that no, I've been she, having... She, went, she hit mine, and I was like, oh, yeah, I feel it. Yeah, right there. And finally, you had a lot of swelling on top of it. It's all irritated. It's all inflamed. And I'm finally now able to click, 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 go over it. it took me a while to find it. Okay, so it's the nerves. The nerves are going on top of it. Come on and look at this diagram again. <laughs> Red is the artery. Blue is the vein. Okay, they call it the van. Vein, artery, nerve. They go together and they're in a little bundle. They travel underneath the clavicle, but they go over the first rib. This is your thoracic outlet. So all those nerves are irritated. Under. Yes, and underneath this part. Okay. I have a left foot flare. Yep, left foot flare. I feel it here. I feel it under here. Here. Oh, well, what's the lat that doesn't flare out? This one. The like, left? Yeah, like. Here, show me. Oh, okay. Let, let, I just, let's see if we can pull it out. Can you see it, Linnea? And I also, she's more developed here is what she's talking, I mean, compared to here. And also this shoulder, and it has the a tendency to um, roll forward from the back. So it's kind of like this where, where this side. You can pull it back yeah, and keep it open in the front. Easier. I have to really consciously think about doing that with that side. Okay. Give me some stuff to work on. <laughs> on your back. Face up. Well, that's tight. Oh. Pain? No. Any pain? A little bit. Great. We're at C5. C6. Pain? A little bit. Or C7. Pain? No. Okay. I'm always really sore right there. Yes. Now why am I so high up here and why do I care? I thought she had a disc problem down lower because this is 50% of your range of motion. The nerve that goes into your arm isn't here. It doesn't exit here. It exits down here. Okay. These nerves actually go up into the head, ear, okay, when I'm up this high. But if I don't get this moving, your lower part of your neck will keep being abused. Look at that thing. Huge lump here. Digging. It just feels so tight or something. It is, it is. Now I test it again. Come on back, come on back, come on. A little better. Halfway there, halfway there. Any burning in your arm? No. Anything? Okay. You've got some neck, you got power. <laughs> you got some power in there. Making me sweat already. <laughs> All right, I need a break. I need a break. <laughs> <laughs> she can take more pressure than most men. Oh, there we go. Let's try it again. This thing is locked. Let's adjust it. Let me just get it out of the way. Are you ready? I'm gonna adjust it as okay. long as you're okay. Yes, I'm okay. Blink thoughts right here. Oh. Oh. Very good. <laughs> that hasn't been done in a while. <laughs> that was like that was like about three. You good? Oh, yeah. You all right? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I have to try to do is totally, totally relax. relax. You're you're fine. Okay, okay. You're good. Okay. I got my tricks. Oh, there it goes. I know. I'm getting it one piece. That's that left atlas. Yep. Oh, I got you. Got you. Come on. That's it. Oh. Sorry. That's all it wants to go. <laughs> right. Oh, so much better though. Oh. It's nice when it goes. <laughs> Ooh, but look at that. That should feel better. 
Yeah. Very good. You can do muscles are easy to manipulate. That's what I'm doing right now. That's an easy thing. It's harder to do bones, joints, rigid structures. Mm -hmm. barely go through the delt. <laughs> Woo. So I'm like, do I break this down to make it match that side? <laughs> no. no, I'll just work on this No, side. I think it might be a little atrophied from this pain that you're feeling. Yeah. You mm -hmm. understand that that would make more sense to me. This side's fine. This side doesn't have a nerve impingement. The nerves aren't compromised on this side. No, I'm going to go over here. <laughs> Let's wake up this side. <laughs> okay, that side's fine. <laughs> Nerve in here. Remember I talked about all those little places they can get crushed? Yeah. Right here's another one. Right there can get crushed. You okay? Mm -hmm. Let that arm go. Yeah, she's just got less. But I do notice um, pressing, I get, well, I don't know what it's from because I'm doing so much with my shoulders, but I get bursitis. Uh, last uh, time I did shoulders, I got it on this side. One week I might get it on that side. And I don't know if it's from lateral or, or overhead. Okay. okay. Bursitis is going to happen if it's not sitting in the socket correctly. Basically, okay. So the way that you look to me is that you're, you're so overdeveloped that you haven't spent any time opening up. Okay. Okay. So you're like this. Your traps are huge. Your delts are built up. I'm exaggerating. Okay. But you're like this and they're not sitting in the socket correctly. Okay. okay? How do I fix it? You can fix it. Just like what you do when you pose. Yeah. When you pose, your shoulders are sitting back in their socket. Yeah. It's, it's easy. Yeah. <laughs> you want to improve this? Go back. You must stretch these pecs. You have to open this up. Then the shoulder shoulder is out of socket if I'm forward. Okay, there's a gap here. There's a, it's out. Do you see that if I come back? Yeah. Yes. Shoulder is in socket now. Too. Ooh, peck first, fine. Bicep doesn't want to roll out of the way. You, you're okay? Yeah. I mean, I'm. See, right there. <laughs> ah, can I get your arm? Ooh! I can't quite get it. Everybody's got like a little variation, you know. There it is. There, I got it. Take a seat. That's it. Oh. Oh. That might be part of why this lat isn't flaring out. Yeah. There it goes. Okay. Oh, you made it through that one. I'm going to do one of the hardest ones and then we're going to flip you over. So on your back. straight to knuckles. There we go. Ooh, feel that. Lovely. The chest, the chest that you just did, that was more painful than, than this. Yeah. Okay. Usually okay. there's a knot here and I'm not feeling it. Let's see. Could be higher. That's a trigger point? Yeah, it just it covers the brachial plexus right here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
You skimming through TikTok, Linnea. No. <laughs> I don't blame you. She's gotta have something to do. Don't watch your mommy work on people all day long. There it goes. Okay. Woo. So you can feel it go? Mm-hmm. When it finally lets go. I'm sure you can feel it too. No? It, it, Maybe it's not. It's hard for me to pinpoint it. Yeah. Cause you know, you're rubbing on me and I'm all over the place, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> Very good. There it is. Deep breath in. Oh my God. Let's see if I can get T4 to move. Perfect. Hey. Good. Deep breath in. Oh my God. Oh, oh, oh. Deep breath in. All the way out. Good. Too much? You okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Okay. Keep breathing with for me. Oh. You've got some back muscles, you're right. <laughs> you're right, right there. I don't have to go to the gym today, Lenny. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you already went. She already went to the gym. <laughs> She's just learning how to lift, right? Me? Yeah, you like how oh. to lift, but light, light, light. I mean, I just do that. That's all Daddy says I need to do. Okay, okay. You have, hey, you have a good curve in your low back. Is that good? Yes. So remember that curve they were saying you didn't have in your neck? You have a nice curve in your lower back. Okay. Oh. Got some strength back there. Wow. <laughs> dense. <laughs> Commenting on your physicality here. Her mid back is very dense. Look at that. Ooh. For what you do, it's all right to have some stability there. It's okay. I'd like some mobility of the joint. Woo! But look, I can barely like stay on course. <laughs> I'm trying to just go straight up the back. <laughs> we <laughs> I might have to do one side at a time. <laughs> it's like I can't, no, I can't follow it <laughs> one side at a time. Woo! Oh, there she is. Yes, get it. If you need a break, you let me know. Okay. I think you're just probably going to sleep, though. <laughs> you probably don't feel a thing. <laughs> you're so strong. <laughs> I'm the one that I need a break. <laughs> Making excuses for myself. <laughs> Very good. That's it. Now it's smooth. Ooh. Very good. Nice. All right. That's a hard one to stay on top of. You doing okay? Yeah. I mean, I'm really pushing on you. There you go. When you say T1, you're talking, is that our that's first rib? rib. Right? Yes. Okay. Yes, ma'am. I want to make sure this is all loosened up before I go to the neck. Ah, my little thumb ain't gonna cut through that. <laughs> one, two, one more. Well, yeah, good enough. Good enough. Mm -hmm. Inferior spinatus. That's sore. Very. 
take my redstone. Though, no. now I found another one. Oh well, here we go. One, oh. two. All right, done. Now I know it's bad with the muscle. Science. Once you memorize where all those muscles go, you follow them. That's all I'm doing. Just get them. Get them. Push them down. Push them back down. He's like, oh, no, don't do that again. <laughs> <laughs> will, it, it's will, tapped out. It, it's done. It can't. It, it's, it's, you know. I will say that that those ribs are the most painful thing. But you understand that your shoulders will never set in place. Your arm will continue to burn if you don't get these back. Yeah, I just, I just don't. If I can't find anybody up home, I don't know how I'm gonna. You're gonna. I'm gonna give you an exercise. Okay. That will take care of about fifty percent of it. Okay. Look, that's gone. You don't need a lot of this. All you can do is hang out here until, it's not gonna look the greatest today. It's like, well, it might look a little bit better. Like if she flexes afterwards, you'll see it better, all of her muscles. But um, you'll really notice it tomorrow. Woo, nice. Very good. Okay, take a break, take a break. Okay, this is what you're talking about. This is just her QL. This is where it attaches. That's why you see me working from here. How you want to get rid of that lump? Here. Here's the top of the QL. Here's the bottom of it. Right? It's that V structure deep inside, underneath the lat. Quadratus lumborum. QL. So I go back top part, that, just like what we did with your neck, right? I was up here at the atlas, okay? Atlas, 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 atlas. Where's the other attachment? T1, 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 okay? Doing the same kind of idea with the lower segment. Here's one side, here's the other. And I'm barely pushing on her. Does this hurt you at all? You all right? It, I mean, I can feel it, but I'm okay. Is it real sore though? It, it a little bit. I can go lighter. I can just try to. Whenever I worked on her back, her back just turned to blood red. Yeah, it's just like. <laughs> yeah. It don't take much. When was the last time you worked on her? Yeah. Uh, today, yeah, it was, it was, it was while we were here. So. Well, well, okay. he didn't do it for very long. He just rolled. Well, you mean you were coming in here, but I'm just saying, like, how frequently do you? Well, now that couple he... Couple or a few times a week. Yeah. Just, just on certain trigger points. Just on the area up on, up here. It's not... I try to just drag it all down. All day long, we're raising them up. Bring them down, push them down. See, before I started seeing your videos, mm -hmm. I didn't even know that there were ribs up there. How is this as sore as the left? It, it, it's about the same. I'm pushing twice as hard. So she's actually, if, I know you can't see from there, but and, and it's, yeah, if you wanna take a look. This side, I'm like beating her up, but this is where it all oh, came out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm trying. You know, I can sit here and pick at this one, but this came out with very little. Yeah. You know, I can see it right here, a little tiny piece. 
where she was complaining, remember at the bottom here? Yeah. Earlier. Yeah. Let me check the top. There's, there, I, there's nothing to push into here. It's all here. This lasts for four days, okay? It'll be gone. The redness, a lot of the redness by the time she leaves, it'll be gone. Um, they recommend like ice baths. I just leave it alone. Take an Epsom salt bath. You'll be fine. It's pockets. I'm pulling apart scar tissue, and when you do that, and there's a... It, within this, okay, the scar tissue doesn't really look like normal tissue. It's all bunched up like this. And if there's blood trapped in there as I'm trying to comb it out, yeah, the blood, come, it breaks the capillaries because it's sitting right here. Right. Okay, people are like, wouldn't she turn red everywhere you did it? I'm like, I guess eventually if I beat her up to death, <laughs> she would. But I'm barely pressing on this, yeah. okay? Right. You know, I'm just right here on the surface or else she'd be in agony. Yeah. You know, and, and sometimes along the bone we'll get some... You know, when I take my thumb, it's from me doing this and yeah. getting the, you know, breaking apart scar tissue. Yeah, it's, it's always fascinating to see which side. You never really know until you do it. I don't stretch enough, I will say. Mm -hmm. I stretch a little bit. Uh, None of us do. We all need to be in yoga. In this case, I was right. I'm so sorry. That has got to hurt you. It, it, it actually, it hurt a little more when you were doing it up, up higher. Up here. higher, yeah. I, I'm curious. I want to see what the left side is. Look at that, just one. It's, yeah, it's a little painful. You know, she even says it's more painful here. You know, why is it painful up here? Yeah. Get it. Look at that. There's the compensation right there. We we got this pretty good here. And I'm trying, I guess if I just push a little harder, we'll get it to come out. But it's left, 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 left. Rising up, crushing this side. You must be sleeping on the left. Yeah, I mean. yeah, I do. So. Oh, I feel that. Yeah, that's that's a little painful. Okay, okay. Okay, chin back up for me. So you don't have to, that's it. No, oh, look at that. See, she did it herself. Um, did you see it? I felt something. Yeah, did you see it? Like, yeah, she just kind of, everything just went back. Mm -hmm. Very cool. That's it, perfect. Here we go. I'm gonna pull this apart. Yep, I don't know if I can though. I felt something. A little bit, all right, other side. This is, here we go, this is what it needs to go. Are you okay? Everything's all right? Mm -hmm. No pressure? No. I've got you, you're not gonna fall, I promise, I've got you. That's it. There it is. Yep, and then you're gonna press out Gently, because you're, you're a lot stronger than me. I'm scared. I'm scared. <laughs> okay, press out. Press out against me. Yeah, yeah. You can do a little bit more. I got you. There it is. And relax. Good. And squeeze. Squeeze a little more. You're not going to hurt me. Perfect. So try the other side. And squeeze. Got you. More. More. I'm not strong enough. <laughs> There's another little catch, but I'm just not. You, I need more muscle, in all frankness. <laughs> I really need to like push it. I, I feel myself stopping. I can try to put the feet together. Squeeze. More, more. <laughs> <laughs> and cut, we'll cut that part off. <laughs> that was it. How's it? How are you feeling? Come on and stand up. Good. You should feel a little loose right now. Yeah, I definitely do, especially up here. <laughs> I need to work out more. <laughs> okay, you still got work on it. Do your do your do your figure pose. She okay. actually looks more balanced right now. It looks more balanced than what it normally is. 
this is the side that I had a hard time opening up. Opening it up. Oh, as much. Really? It does, but just not as it, much. It, it seems like she don't have the. It, but she for some reason structurally she has a, she has a problem opening this one up. At and, times. And you still it, see it? Go ahead and try it again. What am I looking at? She just popped it open right there. Yeah, yeah, now it, it is opening up now. Yeah. She just went and she did this. I don't know how you yeah. hold that for that long. I'd be exhausted. <laughs> like she, class. Now, now <laughs> her, her rear delt, her rear delt on this side is more developed than the other side. But the, the shoulder, her whole side is more developed, I feel like, over here. And I think she's, because she's pinching this, she's not able to develop this yeah. structure. Yeah. So now I feel like go ahead try to work on those lats on the right you know see if you can get any gains i'm gonna have to find you somebody to keep or if you can memorize it you know keep pushing that down and opening it up if it's the whole thing you can even see that this side is more contracted than this side she's just got more power there her <laughs> you have more power here than here like when you bench do you have more power on the yeah right you yeah. know what i mean it's just you can tell that's all developed yeah in here so I'm not gonna work on it anymore. <laughs> but you know, open that up, yeah. push that down, take the arm, go with the subscapularis. You got you gotta just keep opening it up so that the, you take the most pressure off of the neck. She's got an injury here in her neck. Not much we can do for it except to keep this. Okay, keep up. I need you to. We gotta find you somebody in Ohio. We'll find you somebody. Well, even if it's just a stretch, even if it's just the adjustment and stretching.